don't like your neck? Well, how do you go from this to this? Well, I have five simple solutions to lift your neck without going under the knife coming right up. You're gonna love these. My name is Dr. Anthony Yoon, and I'm known as America's Holistic Plastic Surgeon. I'm here to help you look incredible through the right foods, clean skin care, and the latest in non-invasive treatments. And if you're going to consider actual surgery, I'll show you how to do it safely and holistically. Well, every day I have people ask me, how do I lift my neck? If you're like so many people around the country and around the world, as you're getting older, you're seeing a little bit of droopiness and sagginess that you don't like. Well, you may have had doctors tell you and friends tell you that you need to have a facelift done. But a facelift is very scary. You may be afraid that if you undergo surgery, you're gonna look weird or pulled or have some type of complication or God forbid, even die from it. So keeping that in mind, sometimes a facelift is the only thing that can lift a truly sagging neck. But there are some things you can do short of that. And I'm gonna show you those secrets here today. Let's start with my number five. My number five tip on how to lift your neck are instant lifting creams. You can find these creams online, also at the local drugstore or at Sephora. Well, these work very well to create a temporary lift of your neck. Typically, you apply them to the neck and they will actually dry into a film and that film basically constricts the skin of your neck. It's kind of like uh, if you apply a bit of Elmer's glue to your skin and you let it dry. The positive about it is it can work very, very quickly and it's great to use before an event like a family reunion or even a class reunion or a wedding. The negative though is that these can sometimes leave a bit of a filmy residue behind. And if you're applying makeup, sometimes it's hard to apply makeup over it. So if you're gonna try one of these instant lifting creams, practice with it, play with it for a while to make sure that they work for you. My number four tip to lift your neck is to consider using a retinol cream. Retinol is a form of vitamin A. Prescription strength is tretinoin, which I do not recommend on your neck. It's definitely too aggressive. But retinol is a great anti-aging cream that long-term can create some tightening, it can exfoliate your skin, and can even thicken the collagen of your skin. There are a lot of over-the-counter brands that contain a retinol, but I also recommend my own, which is my Yoon Beauty Retinol Moisturizer as well. My number three tip on how to lift your neck is to consider radio frequency microneedling. Now this combines microneedling, which is a creation of tiny, tiny little pokes in your skin that rejuvenates the collagen with radio frequency energy. That creates heat in the skin that can add a boost to even that collagen rejuvenation. Some of the brand names you may hear are Fractora, Morpheus, and Vivace. And these treatments do come with a little bit of downtime, maybe a day or two, sometimes a bit more, but they are great ways to minimally invasively tighten up and lift your neck. My number two tip on how to lift a drooping neck is to consider Kybella. Kybella is an FDA approved injectable where if we inject it into the submentum, meaning the fat underneath the chin, it can melt that fat away. Now it typically entails about two to four treatments. It's made of deoxycholic acid, and this is a naturally occurring substance in our GI tract that basically melts fat. Now the key to Kybella is that it will melt fat, so if you've got a bit of a double chin, it can melt that fat away, but it doesn't necessarily tighten the skin. So if the fullness of your neck is due to aging, then it's not quite as good for that, but if it's due to a bit of extra fat, then it's perfect for that. And my number one tip on how to lift a sagging neck without surgery is to consider injectable filler, specifically Juvederm Volure. One of the things that we've been doing here in my practice, which has been very effective for people with some mild to moderate jowling and looseness, is to inject filler along the jawline and over the masseter muscle. And the idea is that we can lift and fill what has shrunken and sagged. So one of the reasons why our face droops as we get older is that we lose volume, both from bony volume as well as from fat. And so by injecting in those people where the face has gotten thinner, injecting filler along the jawline, that can actually help create a bit of a lift. Now this is an injection, so you do have to do it at a doctor's office, and the results do last about a year, sometimes longer. So now that your neck is lifted, what do you do about puffy eyes? Well, I've got your solutions on this video right here, including how do you get rid of your puffy eyes within literally three minutes. Check it out by clicking this video right up here.